everyone, it's Nelda. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking this video. Hope you're all doing well. I'm here for the second installment for the Philip Vintage 2021 collaboration. This collaboration is put together for us to appreciate the vintage, the look of vintage, the feel of vintage, and hopefully to inspire you to take a look at what you have at home and use them, recycle them, upcycle them, or give them a makeover and turn them into something that you can really use and appreciate. So we are a total of eight collaborators and I will provide the links of the ladies who are part of this challenge or collaboration. Please check their channels and watch their videos and support them. I am pretty sure that they've uploaded already. I am very late today because I had a really tough week and I did not make anything until late tonight. So I was not even supposed to uh, make any projects because um, of uh, health issues. But when I was watching uh, the other ladies, I saw Aisha's and um, Sarah's and Tammy. I thought I have to do my project and do not let these people down. So I decided to do very easy projects this week. And I have these wooden spools. These are vintage spools and the wine fork also that I had forever. And so I decided to use them and turn them into a tassel. And then I have the, some of the beads. These are um, what I already used. And I pulled some of the vintage beads that I have and vintage um, necklaces. And so I am not using this anyway. So I decided to use some of the beads to uh, make the tassel. These jewelry are really old. They are older than my children. <laughs> I used to like them, but um, I'm not using them anymore, and I don't think I will use them again as necklaces, so I might as well use them for a tassel or to make a bracelet or another necklace. And then I have these um, yarns that I also don't use, and I got this from a vintage uh, store or an antique store before, and I've been using some of the colors. Um, for for tags but these are perfect to cover the wooden spool so then I decided to use them and this is the tassel that I made I am not 100% happy with this because I rushed it and to me this is not complete but given the time I think I'm okay with this and I can use this in my personal journal and I also use the wine cork covered it with lace. Now the lace is not vintage, but the cork is vintage and it looked bigger with the lace. And then the spools I distressed with the Ranger Distressed Ink. And then there are beads from the pieces of jewelry. And I know I can add more beads. These are all vintage pieces. And I believe I can or I will still add more beads because to me this is um, still incomplete. There was a tutorial from Mrs. Cog on how you can do a uh, spool tassel and she was my inspiration for making this but this is a very quick easy project if you have your materials so this is my first project and then I made some clusters these are clusters or um, embellishments that I will use in my journals and I use the vintage book pages so just added some lace and fabric and then the butterfly that I um, cut and the sentiments are from my kit 
in my Etsy shop. I always love adding sentiments in my personal journals and even in the journals that I sell. So these clusters are great to embellish or use as tucks or pockets. And so there are quite a number that I made and some of them I stitched and just added bling and some coupons. These are stamp tickets. And the base really are from vintage books. So you can use your old books to make clusters or to make embellishments or snippets. And you can see that um, they are really, really looking aged. I didn't even have to distress them because this is their natural color. And then I use some vintage fabric too so if you have old books and you no longer read them and they're just collecting dust use the pages if uh, they're not treasures use the pages to make embellishments or clusters or tags they also make beautiful pockets and tags just give them a second life and just add your vintage lace and uh, fabric and they are awesome to embellish your journals. So there you go everyone, these are my clusters. I hope you like them. And this is my tassel. Let me know what you think. I know this is a rushed project and I am late, but I hope that this collaboration inspires you to also create something out of what you already have. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Again, please support the other collaborators. They are linked in my description. Stay safe, everyone. God bless you. Bye now. Till next time.